space travel challenges human health on many levels. The immune system also takes a hit. Some astronauts on longer missions to the ISS develop persistent skin rashes, for example. Many appear more susceptible to infections like colds or coughs. It's hard to tell exactly what's causing the immune system problems because the body is also affected in very direct ways. Because of the fluid shift, we have a higher cranial pressure, so more liquid in the brain. And uh, so this pressure also squeezes the optical nerve, um, or it might actually also squeeze the eyeballs. So um, our vision, our acuity changes here in space. So why does our immune system appear to work worse in space? Researchers in Canada may have the answer. They studied a group of 14 ISS astronauts and found that many immune system genes began acting differently after they arrived on the station. Blood samples were taken before, during, and after missions. They revealed remarkably similar patterns of how genes were acting in the astronauts' white blood cells. White blood cells play a key role in fighting off infection, so changes in how their genes act could have an impact on overall health. The list of genes that are expressed that are, uh, have a reduced expression in space and those genes that are related to immune functions and that coincides with a higher risk of infection that astronauts will encounter while in space. Around 100 immune system genes grew less active in the astronauts' white blood cells soon after they reached space. 29 genes grew more active. Gene activity returned to normal soon after the astronauts returned to Earth. The researchers think the changes caused the immune system to work less effectively in space. One hypothesis is that they're spurred by the weightless environment. Spacecraft are a long way from the next doctor or hospital, so understanding what happens to our immune systems when we leave the fetters of gravity behind to keep astronauts as healthy as possible will be key to planning longer space missions in the future, like those to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. <laughs>